All right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeremy. I'm with the PACAC organization. Uh, welcome to the Keystone Virtual College Exploration event. Um, students, your videos are muted. Your videos are off. Your microphones are muted. You'll be able to ask questions via the Q&A option at the bottom of the screen. Um, and then I just have quick two quick recommendations. You are able to definitely sign up for additional sessions uh, that you can find via our website, as well as all recordings of past uh, presentations and this presentation as well will be available on our website. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to my colleagues who will be presenting to you today. Um, please ask questions and have a great session, guys. Awesome. All right, everybody. So welcome to um, our session today. My name is Megan. I'm with Bella Capelli Academy. Um, we're a Paul Mitchell cosmetology school located in Pittsburgh. Um, I want to do some quick introductions of everybody that's on here today. So we actually have two locations um, to our school. I represent the Robinson location. Um, again, my name is Megan and I am the enrollment and marketing leader for Bella Capelli. Um, another really important person for the enrollment team is our financial aid leader. Her name is Alicia Clark, and she's pictured right here on the screen for you. Um, so that is our team in Robinson. And then we also have a location in Monroeville and have a special guest on here from there. Hey everyone, um, like Meg said, thanks for joining us today. Um, I am Nikki, the admissions leader at Bella, Compe Bella Capelli Monroeville. Um, and also pictured here with me is Miss Barb. She is our financial aid leader, so she is your FAFSA guru. Awesome. So today we are going to focus on really three main parts, um, education, culture, and placement along with some really great information about just cosmetology in general. The reason we focus a lot on these areas is because um, they make our schools stand out. They make us unique. And when choosing a cosmetology school or just school college in general, it's really important to have those unique factors that will make your education experience different. And I say the word experience because that is what Bella Capelli is all about, giving you a really great, well-rounded experience in the beauty industry so that you then have a well-rounded resume and really great things to talk to future employers about. So let's start with our education. And as we all know, uh, 2020 has really thrown us some curveballs and made um, everything in our lives pretty much different. And that includes education. So with our education in cosmetology, yes, it is a really hands-on experience, um, but there is now some hybrid education elements that are typically included in our program. So just like we're doing you know, a Zoom right now, there are some Zooms that could be included in your program. Typically, our new classes do start online for a week or so, and there is the potential for some different online um, education time that could be spent throughout your program. The majority of it, though, will definitely be hands-on, in-person, um, really so that you get that experience for the beauty industry. But regardless of whether it's in-person or online, you will be experiencing all four of the phases that are listed here on our course outline. Um, so when you start our program, you start in core and you're starting at the bottom because you're really building a foundation for the rest of your education and learning those basics of cosmetology. So really the step-by-step -step instruction of everything from hairstyling, hair cutting, hair color, 
different textures of hair and how to work with those textures, blow drying systems, um, your spa services, so manicures, facials, waxing, a little bit of makeup at that point, um, men's styling, you know, so very much that cosmetology is made of. We dig into those step-by-step -step basic learning just how to over the first six weeks or so of the program. Um, after those six weeks, you will take a written and a practical test on everything that you've learned up until that point and have a little transition phase called protege. It's about a week long where I think you're transitioning from learning those basics to more advanced salon ready modern techniques. So while you're an adaptive and creative, that's really our goal is to get you that experience for more in-depth beyond just the state board exam um, techniques. So in adaptive and creative, um, you have our clinic classroom um, where you're able to have that salon reality and work on guests and build a small book of clientele and just have that salon experience. Um, and then you also have more classroom time where you're focused on your theory classes, which theory is all about the why, why you do the things that you do in cosmetology, and that helps you prepare for the state board exam. The state board exam is all done on a computer, so that's why it's really important to have those theory classes. You'll also have professional development classes where you'll learn about resume building, interview skills, salon ownership and management, kind of more like the business side of things in the industry. And then you have your specialty classes. And these are definitely my favorite. Um, you have hair cutting where you'll learn nine different haircuts um, as well as men's cutting and styling. You have hair color where you learn everything from, you know, block color techniques to blonding systems, balayage, ombre, vivid colors, just all kinds of great things for the salon. You'll also have texture classes where again, you're learning about one of the 12 different hair types that every single one of us has. Um, you're also learning about styling, blow drying. You have natural hair styling with box braids and dreadlocks. And you have a hair extensions course that's built in where you get certified in hair extensions, which is awesome. You finally have makeup as a specialty and this is super cool it's very in-depth um, we go over everything from natural makeup photo shoot editorial bridal um, and then you'll also get airbrush makeup with a certification in that as well so all in all you're getting all of these classes you're getting your hours for cosmetology and getting three additional certifications um, in hair extensions, airbrush makeup, and then you get a certificate as well um, for completing our makeup curriculum through Ultimate Face. So lots of good information and experience for you. Um, here are some examples of what our classrooms look like right now, what we are doing to provide the safest experience for our future professionals, um, whether that's providing social distancing, having additional space, varied schedules, um, and we do require masks in our school as well. Also a really cool thing that makes us stand out is we have you take what's called a multiple intelligence assessment to show us how you learn best. So we know everybody learns differently. Everybody processes that information differently. So we want to gear our classrooms, our lesson plans to how you learn your very best. So that's something that's going to show us whether you're a body kinesthetic learner, like really hands-on, involved in classes, or maybe more of a math logic or musical learner and you like an order to things and you like listening to music, you know, and we can incorporate those things into our classrooms. 
Finally, this is your kit. This is a huge part of your experience and this is also a part of your tuition investment. So you will get all of these Paul Mitchell professional tools included in your investment. So everything to set you up for success for the salon world. So whether it is, you know, all of your combs, your clips, your brushes, your drapings, your spray bottle, your manicure kit, your shears, your clippers, your razor, all of your hot tools. So your blow dryer, smoothing iron, curling iron, you'll get five mannequin heads and a tripod and carrying case. Um, you'll also get a Dermalogica skincare kit a full size um, products of some of our top product lines for Paul Mitchell, um, our professional makeup kit through Ultimate Face Cosmetics and a, an airbrush makeup kit um, through Ket Cosmetics. Um, you also see the books that are shown at the bottom. Well, actually you will get those all included on an iPad. Um, so that is included in your kit as well. Our specialty classes do have their own interactive apps um, that go along with all of the classes. So you can easily follow along in online learning or in person. So that's just a little bit about the education that is provided. Um, next up is our really exciting culture piece. Awesome. So here at our Paul Mitchell schools, um, we really like to incorporate our school's culture. Um, we are all about giving back at our schools. So we do this through a lot of different ways. Um, we have our student run programs. We have lots of different events that we like to hold throughout the year, um, different events that we like to go to, um, different activities that we do within the school. And you know, we really like to have fun while we're here at the school as well too. So it is all about your education, but we like to incorporate that fun and doing some different things in as well. Um, so these are some of the charities that we've partnered with for 2020 to give back to. Um, one, it's not listed here, unfortunately, but it is near and dear to our schools, um, is Jeremiah's Place. Um, they're right here in Pittsburgh, so it's really awesome that we get to see, um, you know, what we're getting to do for them and how we're getting to help the families that they help and support. Um, so we do different clothing drives and, you know, different ways to raise money to help them for them to be able to give back as well. Next slide. Perfect. Um, so our student run programs um, include a couple of different teams and different clubs. So one of our biggest ones is our Be Nice or Else Club, because that is what our school's culture is all about, is spreading kindness and really motivating everybody um, within the school and within the community as well. So our Be Nice or Else Club, they get to do lots of fun things um, within the community. They get to create magic within the school. Um, here at our Monroeville campus, we like to go right down the street to do um, manicures at the senior care home. Um, we were actually just talking about sending them some love notes today. Um, but I know that some of the things that they get to do at Robinson, I love this uh, picture here where they were dressed up. Um, and they get to go out and we do free hugs um, at a certain time of the year. And we just really get to share um, that kindness and really spread that motivation within the school and like I said, within the community as well. We also have our design team. Um, so our design team is a great way for you to network and to really learn some of those skills, you know, really getting out there and talking to people um, about what you're doing within the industry and what you'd like to do. So they get to go and do all of the big events that Pittsburgh has. Um, we always try to do, and we've done together for the last few years, is the special needs prom, um, where we get to do all of the hair and makeup for probably about 150 um, young ladies and gentlemen um, to make them feel special and feel beautiful for their prom that they get to have that's exclusive for them. So that's always one of my favorites. Um, it's super rewarding and it's super awesome to see the smiles on their faces. We also have our take home and brand team. So our take home and brand team is responsible for um, you know, educating their peers on the different take home products that we have. Um, since we are Paul Mitchell School, we obviously carry Paul Mitchell products. Um, so some exciting things that they get to do is anytime new products come out, they get to try them first and launch them to the school. Um, so if you love trying new products and testing them out, um, take home team is definitely a team to be a part of. Um, they also help with, you know, the, the service desk, you know, keeping the take home area nice and neat, 
um, and presentable take home is a big part of you know the salon reality. It might be something that um, you really love. So you really want to focus on being able to educate your um, your clients on those different take home products. You know, not just saying, "Oh, I love that the shampoo smells great." Really giving them the reasons why they should be using it and the um, reasons behind behind the professional products that they're using on their hair and why you've chosen them for them. And then we also have our student council. So they do all of those fun activities that I was talking about. They collaborate with all of those other teams as well. Um, and they host different fundraising activities within the school. Um, we like to do bake sales quite often and dress down days. Um, so we do have a dress code, it's black and gray, but on our dress down days, we get to, you know, step out of that. Um, today at our school, it's orange, so I have my orange on, um, but we like to do spirit week quite often. They also like to organize graduations, so decorating your locker or decorating your station, just to really celebrate you and the things that you've done within the school. Um, they do birthday celebrations, and then we also like to do what's called Facing Friday. So on Facing Friday, we recognize um, everybody's accomplishments, and we really celebrate those victories with them. Awesome. I love the teams. So they're one of the best, best parts of the school. Um, so switching gears a little bit, let's talk about professional development and placement. So we talked a little bit about the curriculum and the classes that are built into the program, but most importantly, you're thinking, you know, I finished my hours, now what am I going to do? And having that assistance in placement is truly important. Um, so that's something our schools really pride ourselves on is our placement program and what we do to help assist those future professionals, um, which is what we call our students, you know, assisting them in finding that dream salon home. So in addition to the curriculum that's provided, we do have job boards um, within our school that we post all different opportunities, hiring opportunities from salons that actually reach out to us directly that want to hire our graduates. So those are posted on the job board as well as on our social media pages. I love that they're on the social media because that means that placement assistant goes on way beyond um, graduation. You know, you can always look at the social media pages to see what salons are hiring and you can always reach out to myself or Nikki for that assistance in placement. Um, both schools also host huge career fairs or salon fairs for our future professionals. They're our biggest placement tools by far, um, where we gather, you know, 30, 40, 50 salons in our schools that are there to meet with our future professionals and hire them. So it's a perfect opportunity to really connect with those salons in the area and be able to find that really great fit for yourself. We also do host guest artists um, that do motivational speaking, um, demos, professional development, talking about career paths. They range from salon owners, makeup and nail companies, um, spas, so, so many different types of guest artists. Um, so I love that we have those. It's kind of an opportunity to bring the outside industry in. Um, also in, post COVID times, we'll get back into going on field trips to salons, um, visiting their training spaces. We will uh, be able to get out and about in the industry again. Um, and then we also do set up shadow days for our future professionals to kind of experience a salon and really be able to find that uh, salon home. We also, of course, have the global Paul Mitchell network of graduates, salons, schools, and you have that brand name that's really backing your education in the industry that's going to take you really far. 
Um, we love to recognize our graduates. And the main reason that um, I talk about our graduates is to show that there's not one single career path for a cosmetologist. Uh, cosmetology, I kind of think of as like an umbrella that really covers you for a lot of different opportunities within the industry. So whether you really do love hair or maybe you want to focus more on skin or maybe you want to be an educator or sell products and work for a particular product line. You know, these are all options under that cosmetology umbrella. So when you're choosing cosmetology as your field, just know that the opportunities are really limitless and there's not one single path. Um, so I absolutely love that. Um, some of our graduates on here, you know, we have Jenna who owns an amazing salon in New York City, um, Ellen who owns an awesome um, spa in Cranberry Township. She focuses more on the skin side of things. Um, Sam is actually a freelance makeup artist and hairstylist in London. Um, so this industry really can take you obviously anywhere in the world, but also to do whatever you really want to do and what you want to focus on. So I absolutely love that. Um, in thinking just about cosmetology, so what all does it entail? What are the like nitty gritty info that you need to know um, when pursuing cosmetology? So cosmetology is based on hours. And the state of Pennsylvania requires 1250 hours in order to take your test for your cosmetology license. So that is an hour mark that is different in every state. Um, so it's not across the country, it's not across the board. So each state is different in their requirements. A really cool thing that we send out to all of our perspectives um, is a list of state reciprocity guidelines and how that works when transferring your license from one state to another because there will be additional steps that are necessary to be licensed in different states, whether that's going back to school or that's a simple paying a fee and transferring your license or maybe you have to take an additional test it's different for every state. So that's really important information to know. Also with online hours, not every state has to accept online hours or chooses to. So again, that's very important to know when you are transferring your license, you'll want to check on that state's board of cosmetology requirements. Pennsylvania does require a background check for anyone that is going to take the state board exam. So that's really important to know. Um, there is an additional fee, additional paperwork that is required um, for that background check and that does have to be done prior to you finishing our program. So again, just so you're aware of that. We do have a full-time schedule currently at Bella Capelli. Um, it is a Monday through Friday, 9 to 4.30 schedule. And typically it takes about nine to 10 months to complete that program. Um, obviously this past year was a little bit different. Um, and you know, going forward, if anything like that would happen again, it could be a little bit longer. So just so you're aware, average time, nine to 10 months. Like Nikki said, we do have a professional dress code. Typically, it is all black and gray. Um, we are a part of the beauty industry, so we have to look the part. And that's a huge thing that you'll learn, especially through your professional development classes, about how important looking the part is. Um, dress down weeks are always so fun, so we like to add those in as much as possible. And then our upcoming start dates for 2021 are listed on here. Obviously, depending on when you graduate will determine your start date. But the cool thing to know is that we do have multiple start dates throughout the year that are options. Usually for high school graduates, our August and October classes are the most popular. So next up is financial aid. 
Awesome. So um, this slide here is going to go over all of your costs for school. So the total cost currently is $19,360.62. Um, and so this kind of just gives you a breakdown. So everything that Meg showed you before, all that awesome stuff that comes in your kit and your digital kit as well are all included in that cost, your tuition, sales tax, really down to like the nitty gritty of all of those numbers and breaking it down for you so you can see exactly what your investment into your education is going to be. Um, I, it does say tuition cost, cost is subject to change. Um, we will, you know, make sure that we're letting everybody in aware of those times if something were to change, um, you know, sometimes increases on textbooks or kit um, inclusion can go up slightly. Um, so we always just like to let everybody know um, and make you guys all aware of that as well. Um, so one of the major ways um, that you can, um, I don't want to say finance for your school, but to help you um, in your financial package for school is the FAFSA. I'm sure you guys have heard about it already at school, um, but that's what our financial aid leaders are here to help guide you with. Um, Alicia and Miss Barb, um, like I said before, FAFSA gurus, they are amazing at doing this. They could probably both go through each page in their sleep, um, but there are some options for you to go online to do this on fafsa.ed.gov, or you can download the My Student Aid app. Um, both are fairly easy to work and to go through. Um, you will need your parents as well um, for your FAFSAs. You will each need to create an FSA ID for yourself and for your parent. Um, and if you are looking to um, start after high school, you're going to need to complete the 2021 to 2022 FAFSA. Um, it is available currently on the website. Um, each of our schools has a different school code, um, so those are both available on our websites and also if you needed to call the school, you can always call and ask us. Um, we can help you with those as well and I'm sure that um, either of our financial aid leaders would be more than happy to schedule financial aid appointments with you guys to help you and assist you with your FAFSA as well too. They can do that one on one so that way you are, you know, getting all of the correct in information and so that they can help you really customize your financial package to let you know what's available for you guys as well. Um, there's also, if you go online to fia.org slash PA forward, we also accept this as well for PA or Ohio residents. Um, you know, you must be a U.S. citizen and a permanent resident um, and then must meet those minimum credit qualifications as well too. Um, they do have those low fixed rates that they talk about here. Um, that are also really great for you whenever you are just first starting and it's a low cost way for you to pay for college. It's really awesome. Um, we also have amazing opportunities as far as scholarships go. Um, so the Paul Mitchell schools, there's over a hundred schools within the Paul Mitchell family. Um, so we are just, you know, two of those schools that help to participate in giving back um, with our scholarships. So um, we offer, um, a scholarship for the amount of $1,000 um, for each of our class starts. Um, we're offering 10 scholarships um, for the upcoming year, which is super exciting. Um, everyone is eligible to apply. Um, so once you've narrowed down your start date, we can send you out a specific application. Um, you'll need some professional letters of recommendation. So reaching out to your teachers or mentors um, are really awesome. We love to read your entrance essays for these as well. So you'll also need to complete an essay or you can do a video essay myself. I love the video essays. I think they're really awesome. I think Meg's agreeing. Um, they're always, you know, you get to know a little bit more about a person whenever you, they do that video essay. So those are some really great opportunities um, and just a little sneak peek of that scholarship for you. And then also some other scholarship opportunities. If you go to beautychangeslives.org, they have, and I can't stress it enough, amazing, amazing scholarships. Um, they give away um, awesome scholarships throughout the entire year. They give you this great picture here, which is a great outline for all of the scholarships, which um, scholarships are available in different seasons of the year, how much those scholarships are and who is going to be like how many people will be awarded those scholarships. Um, they also give you like guidelines on how to fill out the applications for the scholarships, tips and tricks on how to, um, you know, really get a good 
um, oh, I can't think of the word that I want to say. I'm so sorry. How to really get ahead of the game for these scholarships and applying. So they really help guide you um, and give you all of the information that you really need. Um, so it's a great, great place to apply for scholarships. Um, some of our future professionals here at the school have also received them. So they are, you know, receiving them in our areas as well. I know that's always a big thing is are people actually receiving them and definitely, definitely they are. So really awesome things on there. Yes. So in, um, you know, just the final kind of slides for us, once you guys have made a decision and are ready to commit to cosmetology as a career and Bella Capelli, um, we do have a very simple application process um, that myself and Nikki can really walk you guys through. We do have an application form that we can email um, to you to fill out. There is the $100 non-refundable application fee, which was in the tuition investment list as well. Two head and shoulders pictures of yourself. Um, those are a state board requirement. They, can, they do not have to be professional photos. They can be taken with your cell phone. Just please in making sure that they are a straight on head and shoulders type picture. A copy of your high school diploma, official transcripts or GED. So yes, you must complete high school to attend our program um, and have that ready for us. A copy of your driver's license or birth certificate. Um, something that we actually complete on our end, um, myself and Nikki will really take some time to talk to you guys and learn about your um, goals, your dreams, just everything about you um, so that we can really make sure that our program is a great fit. So that will be um, a personal interview done um, individually. And then there is also an entrance essay, which all the topics are listed on the application, but again, really getting to know you and your goals, maybe how a Paul Mitchell education would really benefit you, or maybe your greatest achievement or something that you have overcome. You know, those are all really great things to write about when um, putting together your essay. So what else for us? And, you know, depending on where you are in your journey, you might just be getting started or maybe you're closer to graduation. Um, but these are all questions, you know, to really kind of ask yourself when thinking about a career and what you want to do and how committed you are. So, you know, what does your support system look like and how do they feel about you pursuing cosmetology or anything else? Um, do you have those cheerleaders at home? Because we certainly are your cheerleaders at the school and we want you to have that at home as well. Um, you know, transportation, uh, work-life balance, are you going to work? Those are all different kinds of questions that you can ask yourselves and um, be thinking about whenever you're pursuing, you know, your school search. After that, you know, application, FAFSA, financial planning with our awesome financial aid leaders, and then contracting um, for the start date, you know, prior to getting started. So those are just some final steps. And again, we'll go into more information once you are closer to actually starting. So we want to take this opportunity um, to open it up for questions, um, open it up for some thoughts, if anybody has anything that they would like to share. We would love to help you. I don't think there was anything. I didn't see anything in the chat box. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't see that. That's okay, I kept checking it. I wanted to make sure that we weren't ignoring anybody. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Well, if that is it. Hey guys. I'm just going to share a screen again. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us and taking the time uh, to watch the video and, and interact. Um, please feel free to contact the presenters, their contact information was up through the presentation. I saw it numerous times. Please reach out, um, take some moments, sign up for additional sessions. And of course, all these recordings are available on the site. Thank you guys so much.
Thank you. Thanks. Have a good one, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.